My name is Filippo Manser. I'm the director of Awesome, which is our observatory on social media here at Indiana University. The type of misinformation that we're interested in is the misinformation that spreads virally. It can spread organically uh, because people believe it, or it can also be pushed by coordinated campaigns or by people who are specifically trying to manipulate opinions. The information that we access affects our opinions, and then those opinions affect how we vote and those votes affect the policies that we enact. So a well-working democracy relies on informed voters. And so if we can manipulate social media, then we can manipulate people's opinion and we can manipulate democracy. An example of a misinformation campaign was when during the midterm elections in 2018, there were tweets going around saying that men should not vote as a way to respect women. And these were spreading virally. And some of the tools that we developed in our lab were used to uncover them and flag them to the social media companies who then took them down. And there were at least 10,000 bot accounts that Twitter took down that were spreading this misinformation. It is really important to understand how people consume information and how they consume misinformation. And that's why we realized that we needed to partner with the media school because we want our tools not just to be used in a lab, but to be used by the general population and to be used by journalists so that they can understand what's true, what's not. It is really important to do what we can to try to understand how the manipulation happens and counter it so that people can actually have access to real information from real journalists about the real world and their opinions can be based on facts. We've been working on research to understand how social media are manipulated and how misinformation spreads for many years. As we develop better countermeasures, people will develop better attacks. And this is normal in this kind of problem. So what's important for all of us to know is that we, all of us, we are vulnerable. It doesn't matter how smart we are and how skeptic we are and how we think that we can do our own research on Google, we can be manipulated. 